Yeah, that one's also a really nice modern art. Oh yeah, this is more Andy Warhol. This is Marilyn Monroe. So Andy Warhol used silk screen and he replicated uh, uh, pop culture uh, heroes or uh, actors and actresses and filmmakers and writers. And he, he worked at a place called The Factory in New York. But this is it right here. It's 1962. Acrylic on canvas, museum purchase. Benjamin Time, Memorial Trust. Collection. Yeah, it's acquired in 1983. Everyone knows this one though, it's pretty famous. And it's, uh, I don't know what this is though. I think that's it, it's right there. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, it's an automotive part. His name is Skull Angels, it's done in 1974. It was acquired in uh, 1975, his name is John Chamberlain. It's kind of an Andy Warhol-ish kind of thing you can kind of see it and there when it's made out of some kind of car part and uh this is eddie martinez it's blue shield 2019 so i don't know why it's called blue shield that's the name of it and this one's like a pyramid by eric parker and it's called Disconnected. It's a 2015 one. Disconnected. Yeah, what's up? Which one is that one? That one's Eric Parker. It's uh, 2015. He was born in 1968. Remember there was another one that was over here? That looked like it was a quilt or something. You had to figure out the pattern. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, are y'all heading out? Is it closing down? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, what were you asking? this wall last time. I had like a quilt or something and had a bunch of numbers. Oh yeah, they change them out all the time. This one has like a cartoon. Yeah, this one has a cartoon on it. Though. Here were those two guys. Let me see where. Those look like, uh, that looks like um, John Belushi. It's John Belushi and maybe the lead guy <coughs> that was in the office. That's what I'm guessing. I can't think of his name now. I forgot the guy that was in the office that also did uh, all those military movies. He was Pam's girlfriend. Jim in the office, that's what it looks like. And John Belushi, definitely. Right there. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Here's another one. Who's this dude? That looks like um, Paul, the actor guy, Paul, Paul Rudd. That look like Paul Rudd. <laughs> Maybe in his early days. That looks like Neil Young right there. By a palm tree. Now that is Heart to Heart, the TV show Heart to Heart. It's like pop culture and Aztec. It's pretty much almost the same thing. They put it all on a... Uh... That looks like our crumb stuff right here. Our crumb drawings. But it looks like a lot of different eclectic, different artists all together. Yeah, this one could be analyzed. It's got a tape, uh, eight track tape right here. And uh, O'Neill, her name is O'Neill. Tatham O'Neill or something like that. That looks like Chevy Chase or someone similar. They could have been models posed just to look like other actors. Are they maybe the real actors? I don't know. They're famous people. All along here, I'm just looking at all the different ones. There's a boxer. Oh yeah, yeah, it's Bruce Whit Bruce Lee right there. Yeah, I'm gonna get the artist again. He does like a lot of pop culture. His name's Eric Parker. Pretty cool. I've never seen him before. Right next to Andy Warhol. 
All right, American Standard, upside down flag, Banks Violetta. This is Jack Goldstein. And then you get this massive uh, stuff going on right here. It's actually a really good idea. This is a really good idea for a painting. So that's on graphite, graphite paper. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's the same person. Though. What is that? Love? The artist oh, is actually, Jack Goldstein. He was born in '45, but it's untitled 1979. Yeah, it is astronaut, but it's actually called untitled. But that's maybe what they call it is astronaut. It's astronauts in space. Okay, and really good to put the light right here. And this is what I was talking about. These are Ginny Holzer uh, kind of blue is what we're entering into. And that's the name of the one I call uh, the names going across the LED light, which we're about to walk into. Turn the light on for a moment to show you where it is. So you can kind of see it a little bit better with the light on. I got the light on. I'm gonna show Linda the lights on Linda there. And this is known as Jenny Holzer. It's a kind of blue. It's LED. And the name is kind of blue. And I think kind of blue is a song too. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's a song and it's more light right here. They do have messages. And Jenny Holzer was born in 1950. She does a kind of blue 2012. When you walk in, you can immediately tell from my glasses right here that it's her artwork. I'm walking against it right here. So it looks like there's stuff in my glasses right here. See the difference between the artwork? Didn't think about that when you were filming it, did you? And it goes all the way into the glass. It'll lead you right into the glass, so be careful right there. But it is kind of cool. Make a cool pair of shades right here. Kind of see it, just like that. It does, it does do stuff to, to you as well, so. Hey, Lynn, do you want to walk this way, like this? You don't want to? Try walking and looking at it at the same time. It's very strange. It's like standing really close to a Wall Street sign. Now, why this isn't in a Woody Allen film or something, I don't know. But here's Linda. It is amazing. You can also look at it from up here, from a balcony, to see kind of if you get any kind of message, like, buy Coca-Cola. We tried to do it one time, and it was very, it was taxing to try to read it. 
but this is like a word here. Alas, action is, I don't know what that is, a nice uh, idea with no substance, does that say substance? Subst okay, can you read it? Al alas, Stru structure is as artificial, that's what's artificial, as, what is that? Pl plas what? Plastic. Plastic, okay. Yeah, I'm reading the, I'm actually reading them backwards. So we're gonna try to go around and see if it's better to go on this side. It might do something where if you read it, you can figure out uh, something about yourself. I don't know. Yeah, it goes backwards here too. Is relatively. I don't know what that word is right there. I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. It does. It, I, I did it one time, and I got it made it exhausted me. She <laughs> says, "Does it make your brain hurt?" Um, Sometimes I can read it better. This that word is, is end right there. Do you want to get a photo? We can get a photo in front of it. We're going to do a photo right here. And then right out here, you can kind of see if you put it like that. That's kind of cool. All right, we're going to do a photo right here. Okay, so come over this way. Don't step on that though, because it probably cost, uh, I don't know, a few hundred thousand dollars. All right, one, two, and three. So we're gonna walk out from this area. You can kind of see futuristic Tron kind of thing. Have you ever seen Tron? Have you seen Tron? Tron. Or Jeff Bridges kind of thing. All right, we're walking out this way. It's pretty cool. The light, this is like a really good one to do selfies and stuff because how the light yeah. is. It's almost like you're in a bathroom. And she went back this way. Oh, you can go to the left. So we can walk down this way. What time did they say they were closing anyway? I thought it was like within 10 minutes. And that's the name of it. It's Jenny Holzer, Kind of Blue, 2012. Why can't I remember that? 2012 Kind of Blue. Because it's kind of blue. Who remembers the words kind of blue? All right, and then we're in Donald Judd, which is untitled, 1967. It looks like maybe like something you'd see in Walmart, in one of the aisles right here. This is just a room that's like roped off right here. So I don't know what's in it. Okay. This is amazing. This is what we didn't get to watch. This is called the, we get, it's called the uh, Ladder for Booker T. Washington, 1996. It's Martin per year. And basically what it's saying here is that it's a master woodworker who studied carpentry, Martin per year. He makes expressive sculpture that often reveals a humble focus on human touch and craft tradition of woodwork. The artist has created a number of works that relate to African-American history, including the latter for Booker T. Washington. In Washington, one of the most powerful and controversial African-American at the turn of the century advocated self-advancement through disciple and hard work, or discipline, I guess it would be discipline. Uh, however, he rejected the pursuit of politics and social equality for black Americans in favor of developing vocational domestic skills, although he was well respected within the African-American community at large. 
uh, as an intellectual who believe that without being totally active, it's not equal to rights and economics gains are unattainable. The latter has multiple associations and prayers homage to Liberty Washington might include several additional hierarchies or